Ladies and gentlemen, our final heat before the medal rounds. To my right, in the blue lane, from New Egypt, New Jersey, Joseph Meissner. And to my left, in the red lane, from Wellesley, Massachusetts, Paul Woods. Joe Meisner, the local boy in this match, but Paul Woods has essentially owned this course. He has run this course, I think, more than any other human being alive. Actually, that is a true statistic. Between the open, close, teen, and now this event, J uh, Paul has the most familiarity with the course. Joe opting for the front of the... <coughs> Joe opting for the front of the cargo net as he progresses through wagon wheels and makes a great spin there. So Joe slightly ahead and once again going for the pocket chalk. Paul well, meanwhile going right for it. So it's going to be interesting to see if Joe can play catch up. Now neither men had to do the back half of the course their first run, but they do have experience from the qualifiers and their other runs. Both with great grabs. Joe pretty high grab. I think he's going to have to shimmy down a little bit. Meanwhile, Paul oh, no. has just finished the obstacle and he's through rooftop rumble opting not to run into zigzag. Let's see if Joe does. And he does in fact run into zigzag, and that's going to close the gap a little bit. Oh, they're very close now. Paul just a little bit ahead of Joe, but looks like Paul will get there first. So he has a slight advantage heading into the monstro climb. The bad news for Paul, though, is that Joe is a master of these thin ledges. They're only one and a half inches, but Joe trains on much thinner ledges all the time. Yeah, Paul already going. I think he knows how good Joe is. He pretty he... much knows that he's gonna have to clear the course at this point. Yeah. Joe did have an unfortunate slip as Paul completes the eight footer. Joe had an unfortunate slip on the rope in qualifying, but he did clear the second time. And now Paul starting to gas out a little bit. He gets he's the onto rope the rope. First. But Joe only a few seconds behind. And there we go, we have a climb off once again. And Joe is the master of this rope. We talked about it in the pregame show and he's making up some time here. They are neck and neck. Joe has the lead, he has pulled ahead. They're now getting into the vertical section of the Heavenly Ascent and Joe is widening the gap between them. Now leading by a length and a half, he's one pull away. Joe Meisner victorious over Paul. And we're gonna have Noah and Joe in the final, but more importantly, look at what he's just done, Will. Holy cow, sub two minutes, 155.58, an amazing performance from Joe Meisner. He proved that he is the master of that rope on this course. Meanwhile, Paul trying to finish out for pride, and that is also what this sport is about. Yes. It's uh, about doing your best. Yes, it's about being the other man, but you don't want to beat yourself. Paul Woods. An incredible race by incredible athletes. Two clears, but advancing to the gold medal round, your winner, Joseph Meissner. Moreover, Paul Woods clearing with a 228. Before this race, that was faster than anyone not named Noah Munier, and he just got beat by 33 seconds. Joe, that was the best performance we've seen for Joe all weekend. And I think it's going to be an intense race between Noah and Joe for the finals. I have no idea who's going to win, but I picked from the beginning. I picked Joe from the beginning, and that's who I'm sticking with.